Welcome to video eight, Roman Army 2021 combat. Uh, Bunny says, when this one's over, we're going to eat some old craft dinner because we're uh, running out of steam. Um, so in this eighth video of eight on combat, I'm going to just say a few more things about bringing the siege to an end. Okay, so, right, short and sweet, what can we say? Ways to finish things, get in, do the bad sea sacking and pillaging. Uh, obviously, if you can make the other side surrender, that's great. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, it's just it's just better for commander and all around. Even if you want to kill lots of people and whatever the dudes want to do, it's just for terms of like practically saving resources. Um, yeah, you know, my soldier dudes are like, we're going away, we're going home, we're eating craft dinner, putting, we're putting them away. Um, is better. You. Yeah, not necessarily because the Romans are, are kind, but just, I think, practically for their own purposes, selfish reasons, it's better. Um, now, they had lots of ways to try and bring siege to an end, the cost involved, whatever. Um, you know, they try all the different methods, how to go over, under, through, rams, starving. Um, but even in terms of, like, getting over a wall to try and encourage um, the speed of everything, um, uh, the Romans had a number of incentives to encourage people to make their way over. So rewards for being the first man over the wall. Obviously, the first man over the wall, or more more than likely, was not the first guy to try to get over the wall because the other guys, what are they going to do? Well, it's not just... And one thing I haven't talked about, and I should have talked about, um, the defenders, okay? Who is it going to be? There's going to be soldiers on the inside. As I said, Roman sometimes. But it's, this is one of these cases where we can, at last... You know, bring in other participants into the fray. Children, to some degree, but women often play a pivotal role in the defense of cities. Okay, this is where we see women. Sometimes they come out um, from the walls to tend to the wounded on their own side. Sometimes they find them up along the parapet. So if you imagine um, the fortifications of a city and you have the walls and there's like platforms on the inside, and sort of gaps and so on, they might be there doing carrying out obscene gestures to the other side to try and intimidate them, throw them off their game, whatever. Um, but sometimes they might be the ones fearing supplies, you know, dealing with wounded inside the city, but they might also be throwing stuff at the attackers. Maybe they're dumping, you know, burning oil onto people, Romans on a ladder trying to get in, or, or vice versa. So, um, key part of all this. So yes, likely to suffer horrible violence if they are on the losing side and the winning side you know the, the benefits are, are um significant i mean this is violence all around um anyway anyway but the romans do have ways to try and encourage their money to get over in theory some degree of control uh would be good but often there's not a lot of control and the longer they go as i said in the previous video the worse it gets um so ways to encourage surrender you know again you can use direct plea please you can parade in front and try to show them how cool you are. Look at, you know, all our men. Carry out some, you know, difficult maneuvers with cavalry formations, etc. You know, have, show how brave, powerful you are. Have your emperor, general, king perform, you know, amazing feats in front. You might, you know, demonstrate all the great supplies you have, all the wonderful food. You know, if you can capture enemy leaders, you might execute them in front to, sh to intimidate those inside. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a number of ways to do it. Um, yeah, I do feel like this video probably could have been in the last one. But surely you wanted this as your final. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there you go. Eight videos saying a little bit about combat, generic combat, a little bit about sieges. Um, again, I want to stress this is not to say that they are all like this, okay? There are many different things that happen. There are individual circumstances, different cities, and then even open battle. You know, this is one part of this. And there are changes over time with different kinds of soldiers, blah, blah, blah. And I should also stress, of course, there's all these sort of small wars and raids and small-scale asymmetric encounters that aren't with two sides lining up in battle that don't involve the, the attack of a sack of a city or something. So this is just part of the combat side of the Roman experience in war. Um, now that we've reached this point in the next, the last few weeks, we can get to 
uh, some of the really interesting stuff, like the impact of war on the participants, both the soldiers and civilians, the wider military community, and the end of being a soldier. Uh, yeah, I wish you many happy returns. <laughs>